So we're going to be testing Louis. Louis is just warming up right now and hopefully he'll be ready to try and get on our leaderboard, which you'll see in a moment. And we'll see how good he is compared to everyone else in the sort of the top grades, the professional climbers. Is he as strong as we all think? Very nervous about the, the testing. I um, I climb a lot nowadays, but I never like train in the normal sense of like hanging off small edges, the timing stuff, and adding weight. I, I used to, but I, I haven't done it in years. I'm worried that I've forgotten how to just hang off an edge because I remember when I got into it. There's like a, a decent amount of very subtle body positioning and technique that goes into hanging the edges in the right way, which I've forgotten all of. Um, so if I do badly, I'm just going to blame it on that. But they're, they're very nice and it'll be very interesting. So um, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm a little bit nervous about it as well, yeah. Whoa! Up to it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. So now that we've had a bit of a chat and we've got Louis on the board already and taking his body weight, we're going to try and test out his finger strength and see how strong these fingers actually are. Feeling nervous? Yes. Yeah, I'm yeah. quite nervous. Well, we've got a leaderboard behind us as well, which we'll look Doesn't into a little help bit more. the nervousness. So we're going to see how Louis stacks up compared to that. I reckon like, like here. But that's even down, because I'm immediately going, pro climber, better than Moon. So you, um, reckon, I think you that... reckon you can compete with Magnus Smith, though? No. Yeah, I think so. So Magnus has been thrown down already. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> what we're going to do first is five second hang. Okay. Right here. Any grip that you want to do, four fingers up. Not and thumbs. No thumbs. Yeah. We're going to yeah. start off nice and easy. Okay. And then we're going to build up and make it harder and harder until you absolutely fail. One and down. I thought that was one second when you said <laughs> one then. <minute. laughs> what? Two, three, four, five. Shake you on yeah, the left. Yeah, I was going to say a little bit. So what we're going to do now, that was nice and easy to begin with, uh, for Louis anyway. But we're going to start to reduce the weight on here and then start to add it to his body. We've uh, got Louis in a harness now. We did have to show him how to put it on, but uh, your head doesn't go through this bit. <laughs> so now we're going to start adding weight because he's already found it too easy at body weight. Uh, so now we're just about to reach the leaderboard yes. and uh, he's on his way to, uh, to Magnus's school. Yes, yes, yes. So, suddenly feels quite heavy. Like the last one was basically nothing. This feels a bit more significant. Been making it five seconds, but that five seconds is feeling longer and longer each time. If I start shaking, then I assume I'm struggling more, and then I start panicking a little bit. It's the whole mental game going on with this silly hanging test. Oh, silly test, I mean, I'm, no, delete that last bit. <laughs> Damn it, Louis. <laughs> That, ladies and gentlemen, is the limit. <laughs> now what? Louis just reached his max level and we'll go through the scores at the end so you'll be able to see where he stacks it up. And now we're going to go on to the small edges because at this elite level it's about how well you can pull on larger holds but also really small holds as well. But I think you're going to do quite well on this one. Max like small holds. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to test that. Two arms, max hangs again. And we're going to go for seven seconds this time. I mean, two arms on an edge half the size, logically you'd think it's the same difficulty. You can find out in like 22 seconds. seconds. Yeah. Oh. 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 Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Knees coming up for no reason. Louis. Tom. Yes. What are your thoughts on the test so far? I never have thoughts, I just look at data. <laughs> <laughs> No, that does no. not count. Um, I will give a, a small gold star for the fact that you did it with a cup of tea in you as well. Yes! Though. That's unusual tactics. Most people are so uh, 
The numbers obsessed, they wouldn't dare consider drinking a cup of tea beforehand. I can't tell how serious you're being. <laughs> yeah. uh, I hung off some small holds and it was really hard. You did enjoy it though. You I did, enjoyed it. I did like it. So we've just gone to absolute max on one arm on a bigger hold and then two arms on the smaller hold. And we'll go through the results a little bit later, but you felt like you did all right? Yeah, I, I, better than I was expecting and quite happy with how I did on those. Didn't expect that I was going to be loads weaker on my left hand. I thought I was stronger on my left than my right, yeah. but definitely not. And you happy with the one arm? Yeah, and I think I used to be able to do more, but I think it was on a bigger edge. I haven't tried it on these. So yeah, I'm, no, I'm quite happy, yeah. So now we're going to go and get you pumped. Okay. And have you got pumped recently, or have you just been doing more bouldering stuff? Maximum three moves in a row. This will be interesting. So it's only going to be a short section next, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, we'll be able to watch Louis suffer for a little bit on the lattice board. So what we're going to do initially on the lattice board yeah. is become familiar with it and just learn how it climbs, improve your movement economy on the testing situation. Because cool. when we do the tests on the board in a second, we want to feel quite familiar with it and how to move on okay, it. So I shouldn't fall off because I've just made a mistake and been stupid, I should fall off because I'm tired. Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. So we're taking out technical errors. So at the moment, Tom's taking Louis through some movement exercises. They're just some basic things that we always do just to see if the climber can do certain techniques really well and if there's any areas where they can't perform as well. So a good example is if Louis is not as strong as we predict. It might be because his movement's really, really good. Uh, alternatively, if he's really strong, it might be because he can't really climb. Uh, but these tests help us find out uh, whether he's good or not. Where would you say your sport? What's grade? your sport grade? I'm gonna be arrogant and say 8B. Oh no, I think you can do harder than yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna hedge my bets and say 8B, no, and then be happy if it's more than that. Okay. 9C. 9C. Yeah, 9C. <laughs> Hard, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So what we'll do now is we'll plug in your max moves data okay. and your finger strength, and then we start to understand the efficiency you have. Cool. So we we'll have to work out root climbing grade, yeah. how efficient are you as a climber, and then also max strength scores. Cool. So there was a few things that I observed that I thought were really interesting about Louis. Is first of all is that when we put really advanced level climbers on the lattice board. There's this really interesting effect where you see that people pick up the way in which to move on the board and the hand sequence really quickly. So I can just point on the board and go, here, 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 here. They look at it and then they immediately execute perfectly. And I always think this is a really curious thing that visually an advanced climber can process that information externally, internalize it and then do it on the board. Whereas someone who's just a few grades down from that has to do quite a few repeated efforts to get it just right. So that was one that's kind of a case and example of Louis, a really high-end climber, executes really well, so good efficiency. When he was climbing around the board on the test circuit was he was your typical boulderer who, as they start to not get the recovery and that intermittent relaxation, so as the hand comes off the board, they're not getting that micro recovery. So the only tool that they have left for that is to speed up and get really quite fast in their pace. 
and I think Louis appreciated that, so he climbed increasingly fast on the board to use the best strategy that he has that suits his training. But you would see a difference in a root climber. They tend to really pace it out and just get those little micro flicks. So it's just really interesting to see the differences between high-end elite boulderer and high-end uh, root climber. How was it's it? Hard. Did better than I thought I would. Um, I got quite motivated when I heard him count out. Oh, that was like moved to 70. I was like, I'm gonna get to 100. Um, then I got to 100 and then was like really tired and then as Tom was saying started performing worse and worse and using more strength and it got exponentially harder. Tried to stop to shake out for a second and got immediately told off because you're not supposed to do that, you're supposed to just keep going, I've run out of woods. I went round and round and my arms are tired. So we've just finished testing and now it's results time, so uh, the big reveal. So excited. How do you think you did? Um, fine. I think I did okay but not like Record breaking. We, we sort of spoke a bit at the start. record breaking, but it's not. <laughs> you can always hope. Yeah. <laughs> so in terms of the endurance that we tested on here, so looking at that sort of aerobic power, and um, we know you're not a sport climber, don't we? Yeah. So we were <laughs> expecting it to be a little bit lower than you might predict. So your scores that uh, predicted was 106 moves, wasn't it? Yeah, that's correct. 106 yeah. moves, so we're looking at around 8B plus standard of sport grade. That's not bad. This is pretty good. Have, cool. have you climbed that yet? No, no in it. Okay, no. cool. That opportunity. Yeah, I'll start, I'll start. So we know that that's pretty good and you predicted something close to that. I think I said 8B. Or do 9C. But I have no idea because I've never tried anything harder than 7C plus. So I don't even know what that feels like. Okay. So it was just a complete shot in the dark. That wasn't me being smart and ju judging things accurately. So the, the one that we really want to get to know is looking at... Yeah, this is the only one I'm the interested finger in. <laughs> and uh, I'm how you compare it to everyone else? Um, so you wanted to be around here? Here was well. Around here? That's what yeah. I'm hoping for. Okay, so, uh, so we just go for it, so we give the big reveal. Oh my god, okay. Oh, where's the penguin? Oh! 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 oh. 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 <laughs> Heartbreaking! No, stop! Yes, stop. Oh, Magnus. Stop, stop! That's not bad. It's not Ooh, as good as so Mighty Magnus. Nice. Yay! Is that the one hand test? Yes, that's oh, the one hand test. Oh, but it's the same test. So the two hand test, that was the really interesting yeah. bit. So if we're looking at max force on one arm. Yeah. Uh, that's still equivalent to a good sort of V13 level. Cool, that's nine, about nine A sport. Yeah. Um, and, but if we're looking at the smaller edges, uh, that level you performed at a V14 standard. So yes. small edges is the way to go cool. if you're trying to push it to upgrade. Cool, I'll keep going that way then. But I think. There's, there's, there's people to be beaten. Yeah. Well, I, that'll be my goal when, when we come back with Andy is... There. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's all about Magnus. It's, it's uh, apparently, I don't know why yeah. we've, I've got fixated on this. Let's go, no, let's go for there. Let's go where we're aiming before. The mine's six months, might, is it? But let's go big. Yeah, might exactly. Big. Yeah. Oh, right, so how did you find today? Really fun. Uh, really interesting. Uh, hard work. I um, obviously you always go and do these tests secretly hoping oh, the results show you're the best climber in the world. Well done, Louis. No hard work needed for you. It's not what it shows. It shows that I'm um, pretty good, but not spectacularly strong. So um, kind of that means I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm climbing pretty efficiently nowadays, which is quite nice. Because that didn't used to be the case. So I'm quite happy it's shown that. But it has got me motivated to get strong. Because <laughs> I want to be... I don't want to be down here. <laughs> I know it's not, they've said like all day, Louis, it's not, it's not a competition, we're not about that, with it's data stuff. I'm like, yeah, but but you set it up like a leaderboard, so so I want to be up here. So um, so I might do a bit, a bit of like, training so I can come back and, and go a, a little bit better. So I did like it, it's fun. So today went really good. It's always a pleasure to have really strong climbers in and seeing where they stack up compared to everyone else and their peers. Uh, the finger strength, I think, is another really good example of the fact that definitely strong, definitely very, very capable, particularly good on small holds, but that is not the secret to his success so far. His movement and his ability to actually apply himself is what's got him up problems, and it's not just being ridiculously strong. So I think this is a really nice indication that you don't have to be so much higher strength than everyone else and you can still perform at the top level. Check out more tests there, subscribe to the YouTube channel and we'll get some more stars on the board and see how strong they are. Um, 
really interesting results. Uh, some things we kind of expected, some things that we didn't. Um, definitely one score that stood out and Louis performed the best out of everyone we've ever tested is I think he's got the most moves scored and the most finger strength scored consistently in a pair of skinny jeans. Um, and I think that's the first for Lattice training. So yeah, big big step forward. I thought those were real results for a second. I was really excited. <laughs> I, saw, I saw you leaning forward, I was like, what? <laughs> oh, oh, it's a joke. <laughs> I see. <laughs>